takes her home. Tame to flies her. <laughs> Sounds about right. Well, we're about to have some fun around here because it's not only St. Patrick's Day, it's St. Party's Day. Woo! With us are experts Bill Hennessy, James Blackburn, and our fiddler, Lennon Delaney. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. That's great. So, St. Party's Day, tell us what that's about. Well, um, Bill and I originally uh, grew up on the East Coast, and uh, to us, St. Patrick's Day was one of the most fun, joyous, uh, biggest celebrations of the year. So it's a huge deal, right? It, it's huge. Because of the Celtic background? Absolutely, absolutely. And we just thought Toronto, Canada's biggest, greatest city, needs a celebration along those lines. Oh, for sure, for sure. I was just, uh, we were talking in the banter earlier how I went to the St. Patrick's Day Parade, and that, it's attracting so many thousands of people. It's huge. Why does it need to be a holiday now? Well, you know, it's, as I said, the joyous, most joyous day of the year. I know. I think it's a day people come together from all backgrounds for just good old-fashioned, unpretentious fun. Yeah. And, you know, Green we, have, beer. we have family day. <laughs> you know, what's family day? I mean, this is a day that really everybody embraces, everybody loves, and, you know, March needs a holiday. So I think everybody needs, you know, we're fortunate this year it's on a Saturday, but, uh, when it's on a weekday, everybody needs a day off. <laughs> I agree. So, Bill, what are, what's happening with your um, event specifically? So, it's actually an all-day-long event. And believe it or not, we actually have a tent expanding from King Street to Front Street at the St. Lawrence Market. Wow. Oh, wow. So, what we found in the past is people love to be outside when the web weather's favorable. And knock on wood, it looks like the weather's in our favor this year. So the event starts at 11 a.m. Okay. And goes to 1 a.m., like I said, 14 hours. And of course, there's cold Alexander Keith's. Whoop, we love that. Dancing. Can all we day have a long. green if we want to? Because that's, a, or are we not doing that? <laughs> we have green cans. We're going to do green okay, cans okay. instead of dye in the beer. <laughs> and believe it or not, we actually have green rock star energy drink. The world's most powerful energy drink to get you through the entire day. So, like I said, 14 hours, it's ambitious, but uh, we're planning on going the whole day. Well, there'll be a lot of buzzing St. Party's Day people for sure with rock star. <laughs> you know, I'm watching you say this with a straight face, wearing the most ridiculous glasses I've ever seen in my life. Uh -huh. I'm uh, a glass guy. Do they do anything? What, they look like they should be flashing or something. They, I believe they do. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. James actually was contemplating putting all of our customers who were coming to the market on Saturday up to a competition. He wanted to challenge them all to see who could come and outdress him in his St. Party's Day attire. Why he, he's he's staying tame oh, today, it's but surprise, wait to see what he has on Saturday. Is this how they celebrate it on the East Coast? Is it the same sort of traditional green decorations and clothing, or, or is it a whole different thing? It, it is. It certainly is. And what I found both in the East Coast and also at University in London, Ontario, and here in Toronto is with your traditional March 17 celebrations, you really don't know what time to show up. So right. you go to your typical Irish pub, James could show up at 11 a.m., I could show up at 11.05. I get stuck in line for the day he walks right in just because of the demand. So what we've actually done at St. Party's Day is we've implemented a ticket system with guaranteed entrance times. So you buy a before 2 p.m. ticket, you show up whether it's 11 a.m., 1.30, guaranteed access. Oh, perfect. Now, how many people are coming to this? How many, how many does it attract? We can accommodate approximately 4,000 people at a time, Whoa. so we'll do upwards <laughs> of five, six, eight thousand 8,000 people throughout the day. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And so will there be entertainment? There well? most definitely will be. Lennon will be playing a number of different sets, both solos as well as in the band he's a part of, the Irish Imposters. Ah, oh, perfect. And we also have James's favorite clam chowder from Halifax. Right. And is this we, from last year, what we're saying? Going on. It is. It is. And we also have a U2 tribute band by the name of Desire. Oh, fantastic. Ed at Hamilton. They're fantastic. So a lot of U2 fans on March 17th. <laughs> and some, yeah, there's some crazy, there's cray-cray dressers there. <laughs> Uh, it looks like a lot of fun. A lot yeah, of fun. It's, uh, it's our favorite day of the year. I agree. I think it's, it's a day of joy. It's actually sure. one of those days. Halloween, you 
get excited about it four weeks in advance. You've got right. to shop for your costume and everything right. else. You have to decorate your houses. You have to all exactly. That, right? March 17th, St. Party's Day is one of those holidays that comes and people often don't prepare for it as much as the other holidays. So what we've done at St. Party's Day is we're actually handing out pins. We're going to have the Alexander Keith girls tattooing everybody. And we're selling merchandise there as well. In addition to that, we also have different photographers there handing out St. Party's Day branded photos of you and your friends. So we're going to make sure next year the event is not forgotten. Right, but I like what you said too. It's, it is a more spontaneous celebration for people who aren't planning it. You guys have been planning it, I bet, for months. Yeah. Basically since March 18th of last year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but for the rest of us, it comes like, oh yeah, what are we going to do for St. Patrick's Day? And then you just go out and do it. Mm -hmm. So that there's some fun, there's some joy in that too, that it can just be fun that spontaneously happens thanks to the planning of you guys. Now, how do people go about getting tickets and things? Because it, you would sell out eventually, right? It, or could you sell out? Yeah, we very well may sell out. And as customers leave, we will have a one-in, one-out policy where people can purchase tickets at the door. But all the info is online at www.stpartiesday.com. Or, of course, you can follow us on Twitter, at St. Parties Day. And as part of the fun, we're actually going to have a Twitter screen at the event so people can comment on how much they love their distinct but approachable tasting Alexander Keats <laughs> or they can speak to getting tired and that they need a rock star drink make responsibly it everybody yeah, we're totally drinking. agree <laughs> but everything responsible well thank you guys so much good luck I hope thank it's a you. smashing success and you get uh, how many are you predicting again Upwards of six, seven, eight thousand people throughout wow. the day, and you can also vote for St. Pa St. Patrick's Day to be an official holiday on your site as well. You right? most definitely can. Okay, great. Now, will you play us a, a, another ditty? Uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah, great. No problem. I love Irish music. It brings me home. Here are your community event listings. The Ontario Legislative Building at